Check out that view. I'm headed to Spruce Pine, North Carolina. It's about a half an hour from Marion. I'm on North 221. And this came, oh, Spruce Pine, 18 miles, and came highly recommended to me by Tina over at the uh, Something to Talk About hair salon where she rocked it and I'm so grateful for her and it was well worth every penny so nice to support locals so this is out of the way of the direction I was headed to Charlotte but she didn't tell me once but I don't know two or three times you've got to see Spruce Pine she said it's only like two streets so, you know, God speaks to us through others. So that's where I'm headed now. Hope you'll join me. Linda here, Serene and Simple Life. Driving, driving another four miles to get to historic Spruce Pine downtown and the visitor center just climbed a curvy windy windy road for a couple miles not my favorite because I like to look out the window and that's really not possible when you're trying to pay attention to the road so we're almost there local the theme of the last couple days we have arrived look city drive-in and a drive uh, drive-in place right there smoked barbecue look at this view i'm digging it so i'm not sure how much further tina said only like two streets but this certainly interests me. The general store. Craftsman. Love that word. And always, always, this is what is going to bring back our country. Shop local. I'm really going to work on that when I'm uh, decorating my country cabin city drive-in all right lazy one mercantile yeah i like this sign on the door come on in look how cute little wood planters i don't need one yet but i will i love it oh Look at this. Even better. Oh, there's a temptation here, but it's a little premature to be picking up something for the cabin. This is an absolutely beautiful, beautiful gift shop. There is something for everybody in here. So many fun sayings. Oh my gosh. It's a bit overwhelming. I like to walk through a gift store like this uh, semi quickly and then go back around a second time. When I first look at everything my mind races with this would be nice and I would like to buy this and this would be great for my daughter and oh my gosh look at these toys for the grandkids the best toys don't have batteries and then before that was a homeschool mug I'm a homeschool mama and something about I'm crazy and it was just so cute and then I 
postpone my thoughts um, that I don't want to just randomly purchase things right now, especially with <laughs> the tiny cabin costs in front of me. I just want to give you a little flavoring of what's in this store and how enjoyable it is. Hopefully, if there's something that interests you, you can take a pause and maybe even see it further up close and even order online. I guess that's a possibility. There's adorable Christmas ornaments and decorations. I love these little wooden, I have a wooden blocks made out of, um, well, it's, I think it's the same company, it has like a covered bridge and candy store and a church, all kinds of things. I think about getting one of those to add to the collection, worship him, seek him, all kinds of fun stuff. They're playing all kinds of music in here, so I muted this video and adding to it now. I really like these. Keep the faith. All I need is the mountains. Life is better with a friend. This is cool. That was a snack bag that unzips and or like a snack mat. Something quite unique. A lot of these things say, you know, designed in USA and made in China. Live simply. Really like to find the just made in USA. Cute socks. And we go round and round. going to show you a little bit more when I go back around. This is just so much fun. Positive mind, positive vibes, positive life. I even splurged on some of this, some of that popcorn. He is risen. They had a free popcorn machine. Give thanks to the Lord, 1 Corinthians 16, 8. And around we go. And now in my mind, I've spent a couple hundred dollars. Gotta love it. When I am gone, look for me in every star, every moon, every brand new day. I am not gone. I am everywhere with you, dear. Everywhere the light shines in. Bless this nest. I love little red birds too. Screen magnets, what an innovative thing. Remember, I'm always with you. I have a beautiful red bird canvas. My son got me. I'm going to hang in the cabin. These are so adorable. Oh my gosh. Some fun boxers. Yeah, you could do all your Christmas shopping in one swoop. How cute. So as you can say, as you can see, be blessed. It's a little overwhelming in a good way. And I'm quite the visual, so everything I look at, I think, oh, where am I going to put this? Where am I going to put this? So most of the time, it's like, I don't know where I would put this, so that's a good thing. And decorating needs to come later. I need to get my essentials first, <laughs> like a stackable washer and dryer, a stove, a refrigerator. I do have a few nice things though already. Now I really like this. But not necessarily the price. 
I always hate to think like, oh, I can make that because I really can't. But I don't know, you never know. They also have a greenhouse out here in the next room. And I didn't take a look over there. I wanted to get on down to the lower street. This is the upper street in Spruce Pine, Oak Street. Here's the popcorn. I got that early on and was munching on popcorn while I was looking. It was fun. Anything that's free is always fun. I love these candles. They're all marked with uh, a child photograph and a little story about what they'd like to do when they grow up or a little bit about who they are. It's, it's only a couple sentences. What a cool way to support um, those in need. I had a hard time flipping this over because I was holding the popcorn. But you get the idea. There's a picture of the person and a couple sentences about them. Supporting a child in need. Very cool. Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction. I also very much enjoyed looking at these patriotic Jim Shore. He does a lot of cool stuff. Had some cool journals in here I'll be showing you. The Twin Towers. A sad, sad day. Never forget. And there's the journals. I really like these. Home is where the heart is. And there's sayings inside and lots of place to write. Simpler Times coloring book. It's an adult coloring book. My daughter had already gotten me one that I carry with me. And with those markers, uh, I've shown you before. I think I'm going to show you also in this video. So I end up not buying anything in here. Even though I did take a few pictures of things including these sponges. I love these. I really wanted to pick up one for my daughter and the Grand Sweet Peas and myself. But I resisted for now. Hopefully can order online and support that way. Gonna head on down the road to the lower street and do some more looking. Not sure if I'll purchase or not. I've got to really love something before I buy it. There was Inside much to love the here. Very quiet visitor center. And I'm going to show you outside is the lower street. It's Locust Street and Link Street, and up above, I was on Oak Street. All right, this is, I know I say all right a lot. I've been catching myself lately. Go, see, do, woohoo. I've never been in a visitor center where there wasn't someone attending it. That's okay. I can do my thing out here. Town of Spruce Pine, home of the perfect Christmas tree. Incorporated 1913. I talked to the lady up above where I just showed you that beautiful gift store and floral. Look at this. She's lived here for about eight years from uh, Hot Springs, Arkansas area. Fell in love with the area.
and I can see why it's very very quaint look at this how nice and uh, yeah she was giving me some awesome history about the area and some I can remember and some I can't <laughs> but uh, beautiful beautiful area and this is one of the two streets that I was that Tina mentioned two streets here so let's go down and see what we can see look at that in the dictionary art comes before housework always so many village idiots so few dragons books helping intervoid introverts avoid conversation oh that's too cute yeah just a little bit more here if only sarcasm burned calories i'm convinced that every time a sock goes missing from the dryer it comes back as an extra tupperware lid i've heard that before all right this is fun let's go in and have some fun or you'll have to put this on the big your bucket list so you can see what's inside oh the wind's kicking up look how cute the railroad tracks we've got free parking you've got to love that in small town USA that you never find in a big town USA or at least almost never how about that what is down here the Carolina theater home of the Carolina barn dance under renovation okay let's turn around this is an antique slash go days gone by store. Bambi, many of the items in here, oh my gosh, were huge flashbacks of days gone by. I have already walked through this store once. They were playing some beautiful Christian music lovely people working in here a very freeing place to walk through if you get my drift and I just had the best time I don't recall ever in my life spending this much time in a store with used items that have that um, old antique feeling most of my life I've always been about new oh my gosh that little board there that was a creative memories magnetic board that we used to sell and I believe I sold all of mine and I loved it yeah I was always about new I don't know why um, I've bought things in thrift stores, so it wasn't like beyond me. It's just that I like that new feeling and I didn't want to go to things of the past. Um, I have a regret. Look at those barn photos. Um, when my mom passed, my sister dismantled and did all the work in the house and <laughs> I didn't get very much. <laughs> she got first pickings. We'll just leave it at that. And um, yeah, and I um, really, I don't know. I think uh, I got a couple of my mom's candy dishes, which I cherish. Um, just a couple items, but um, uh, my sister pretty much took what she wanted and then <laughs> put a a few things aside for me and now I wish that uh, I had a few more of my mom's things um, interesting how that happens so now I'm looking through these things and I'm even remembering some things that uh, we had growing up as you're looking at this this might be boring for you in some ways give it to God there are so many cool sayings in here too I'd like you to 
maybe watch this in slow motion or stop for a minute and put in the comments if you see something in this store that you every now and then I fall apart and it was a taco if you see anything in here that you currently own or you've had in the past I would just love to here it is it's a bird cage. I have not thought about us having a canary when I was growing up for, I don't know, a couple years and then it died. I don't remember how long we had it, but I've not thought about a bird cage till I saw that. That was awesome. There's other things in here that yeah brought back little flashbacks. Basically that Creative Memories magnetic board and the birdhouse. And then I'm thinking... Oh my gosh, look at those pillows. Just, I decided just to randomly show you. I wasn't going to video in here. Then I went upstairs and the first part of that video was taken from upstairs and that's all I was going to do. And then I found this to be so cool that I thought maybe you would enjoy looking at this. Hey, even putting this on your bucket list. This is a cool store. And I'm starting to wonder and consider, oh, look at those lamps over there. Those jar lamps. We had some of those when I was married. <laughs> okay. I'm starting to consider whether or not I'll come in a store like this. I love that little letter holder. Sold one of those at a yard sale. Those black and white flower pictures. Some of this furniture is cool, but I'm wondering if I'll just add some, um, I don't know, days gone by touches to my cabin. It might uh, bring a nice flare, and maybe I'll mix a little bit of contemporary with old. Put in the comments if you decorate like that. You have contemporary as well so as one old, little purchase and are here. you a lover of antiques? And uh, I don't know. I may have to come back to do some furnishings for my uh, <laughs> country cabin. Whoa, look at this. It's $3. It says Clinique on it, so but it looks like it's never been used. I wonder how old you think that is. Put in the comments. $3 purchase, better than no purchase. Look at the cute little bag with the heart. So I spent well over an hour in here and now I'm gonna head on down the street. Link Street, Haircraft Salon, Spruce Pine Florist. So do you want privacy and views? You've found the right place. This cute little home is the perfect hideaway from the hustle and bustle of life, I imagine. Sold. Some cute places here. Yeah. And there's fun and good prices. Like eight, nine dollars max. That's my kind of prices. And breakfast, four or five dollars. Really pretty things are coming soon. Wow, I've often wanted to own a craft gift store. I don't know. Maybe someday I will. Aston James. What a cute place for a chair. You just stop a while. No pun intended. Majestic music. Open. Before I head on down the rest of the street, I decided to come back and charge up my phone a little bit. And look, I'm so excited. I have one of those uh, therapy color type books. And I've not used it much, but maybe now that I have a great place for my markers, I'll start using it. I'm so excited. And look, it almost like matches my journal here. His mercies are new every morning. Look, matchy, matchy. Love those color combinations. I think I want to do a painting like that. Life's challenges. 
How do you pay for something you haven't planned for? Good question. Hmm. This is financial services. Definitely have to go in here. Serenity Garden Wellness Center. Handmade items. That's my cup of tea. All right, even though they're closed, we'll give them a plug anyways. They've got a pretty sign. So that's not cool. Till 4.30 and it's only 4.15. Just saying, just saying Serenity Garden. All right, there's a little regret. I sold a little rocker that I had exactly like that. I had painted it turquoise. Yep, and then I sold it. Oh, look at the sled, gotta love it. Herman's Antiques and stuff. I'm gonna take a little peek in here. Wrapping up another fun day in small town USA. I think I've absolutely found what I like to do most. And that is go to little stress-free towns and enjoy the day. Of course, supporting local. I just came out of Herman's. I had run out of battery for in there. She was a really cool lady. She lives here in the summer and then heads back to Central Florida in the winter. It's about 65 here today or 70 and she said it's cold for her. She's had this business for three years. Look at the, the fronts of these buildings. You gotta love it. Wow, what a cool place to have a store for a few months. Maybe. Keep dreaming. Dreams become realities. And then I was so excited to end the day going here into Dellinger's. This is a Christian bookstore that Tina had told me. And they're closed. 4.45. They're closed. S talk to a lady next door that was shopping in here. She said these people are hit or miss. Uh, used to be run by an older lady who's not there and now it's two younger people. And so I guess they just, I don't know. And I see a couple things in here that I would have liked to have gotten. Anyways, here we go. I think we'll end the day with that. A little bit more of a view. The lady next door did ask me, the customer who was telling me about this store asked me if I was local and I said no. And she's like, oh, where do you live? And I'm like, I'm traveling the country. And I said, are you local? And she said, no. And I said, oh, so are you from around here? And she said, I do believe she said the street. So the street is her home. And didn't know what else to say. You know, she just was a, just a quick answer. It wasn't like she's hiding anything. And they told me to be careful out here. So, well, when you run with faith over fear, 
you cannot go wrong and you live life large that way trusting God in all things not just some things blessings in your day and joy in the journey I hope you enjoyed seeing a couple small town shows and you will share with your friends you will click the bell and subscribe if you haven't already I so appreciate it because when you do that you're actually sharing with a larger community YouTube promotes the videos in more people's feeds they show it as a uh, something to watch you know to get people's curiosity so you are really helping the larger community when you subscribe and click the bell and make lovely awesome comments alrighty thank you one more thing my place to rest and regroup it's a rest area park and it is absolutely stunning here in North Carolina. Here's the restrooms and the huge, huge vending area, huge amount of land and picnic tables in the back. That's where the park comes in. Check this out. As I was walking out from the restroom, look how beautiful. I mean, I would be remiss not to show you this. Look at this. This takes tons and tons of work. And down here, yes, that's the AC running. And over there, a huge picnic area. Just a spectacular evening. Just a spectacular evening in the neighborhood. Look, benches over there. Probably, you know, can't see those. And then down here. Yes, that's the AC running. And over there. A huge picnic here. All the way down. I think there's 40 spaces. I use my rest stops app private drive here to have your picnic that's where the park comes in and we go all the way around all right later